Hey everybody, welcome back. That's right. Here we have the Badger 26cc multifunction tool, they call it. Just came today. You saw the screen cap, you know what we got here. Pretty excited about this one. Reviews seem good. Just came today from Home Depot, I think it was. Pretty sure. Let's get her open and see what's going on in the box. It's snug fit there. Hey, look at that. Okay. Show you what's going on there. Lots of parts in the bags. if that's just a shipping plug or what that is but it appears to be everything in the box now it's taking stuff out of the boxes that came in the box okay. here's the here's the straight head one Something else in there blades and stuff so here's going to be the shield go on there got some sort of a pouch oh this is I'm not really sure what the heck that thing is for maybe a cover on your leg that I'm not sure here's the blade middle blade got some tools spark plug wrench some allens then you have the manual. So let me get some of this set up and we'll show you how that goes. Um, but first, let me unwrap the head deal here. I'll show you that. Do not use in forest. <laughs> nice start run it's got a primer bulb on the bottom here it's not too heavy but it is a gas motor so it's not going to be light it's got a safety here Let's see where it keys in there so very cool all right let me assemble some things we'll be right back all right, well, I'm going to start with putting this on this. Um, you can see here in the picture kind of how it goes, and here's how it goes on. Um, it's got the screws in it already, the little Allens here. Comes with a tool for that. Take them out, put it on the shaft, tighten them back down, and be right back. Okay, once you get it apart, this rubber piece was inside here. So you put that on. Put this on. 
So it's got grooves in it so it'll fit just one way. There it goes. I had it off a little bit. Then you'll put the handle on the top, like so, tighten down the screws. Okay, there we got that on. Um, I don't have it super tight. I'm not sure what this here is for yet either, but um, I don't have it super tight so I can adjust it later once I get it um, all assembled and then we'll kind of see where it feels right to hold on to that. But right there is pretty close for me. So that's okay. So next the instructions tell you to put the guard onto the shaft here. I mean, it literally just kind of bolts on there. Not like this, obviously, but uh, once we get that on there, we'll be right back. Okay, so got to take this nut off here. Oh, it's backwards thread. Okay. Good to know. Get that off. See, it's got a spline on there for using that saw blade. Now, there's provisions in here for using the normal weed eater style, which I'm not gonna use. It's not what I got it for. It shows you here straight shaft by my thumb. So you're gonna leave these parts on. That part, and that makes it flush. So from there, you'll screw this guy on, right? I keep forgetting, it's backwards thread, doesn't seem right. Well, you screw that on. I don't want this on, but here's how you do it. I figured I'll show you anyway. You guys can see very well. I want that blade, because I want to try to cut some blackberries with it. So this comes back off. Then we get the blade. Now, I'm assuming this is the top. I'm, Yeah, because if this is the cutter, that means it's going to rotate that way, so your blade will go on this way. Clamp that on. Let me check the manual here. See what it says about this. We got this other piece. Okay. It looks like it goes back on here, so... This must just be some sort of a protector for that nut, so you don't hit it on stuff, I guess. Now, one thing to note, the manual does not show this guard being on when you are using this blade, so I'll probably have to take it back off. Figure out where I put the tool. But, so we'll get this tightened on here first. Get it back in spot, get that back down. And this will go, let's see here. Got to hold on to it somehow. Oh, I see. There's a slot in the side. You can put that in there and keep it from turning. Get everything centered up in there again. Now we can tighten it down once everything's in the right spot. Okay. Now we have the saw blade on. It's going to go this way, apparently. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and take this back off since I'm probably not gonna need it with that. You know, in hindsight, I think I'm gonna leave it on there just because I don't know how much this thing is gonna throw stuff around. So I'll give it a test run first. You're obviously not gonna be able to get right close to the ground, but I don't need to for what I'm gonna try to do. Um, so we'll try it like this first, cause I'm gonna try to cut some blackberries with this thing. So after we 
give that a test. If this is in the way, then we'll take it off. So next, let's move on to one of the other tools. Okay, we're gonna do the pole hedge trimmer. So you're gonna need this blank shaft here. You'll notice this end has the arrow to the hole and that's what's gonna hold it together. So this is gonna go in here like so, but you got that hex drive. It's got a key into there. But the arrow lines up your shaft. Oop. I have to go back a little more. Turn it till we get everything lining up. Oh yeah, the bolt's not quite out enough. Got to make sure this bolt is out far enough. There it went. Try to get that hole lined up. There it goes. You'll feel it kind of click once it finds its spot. Yep, I'll give it a little twist and you can feel it lock in. And we'll tighten that down. There we go. Now that's on. Okay. Very cool. Show you guys what the blades look like here. Comes with these nice protectors. Looks pretty good. We'll give it a test run on something out back for sure. Very oily, they got her nice and lubed up, so that's good. Okay, so the way this works, see there's a little safety catcher here, and you got another deal here, so if you pull up this one, then you can push this one down, then you can pivot this to however you want it to be, then you let go, it locks in. Pretty cool, pretty crafty. Here you can see how it really works good. So safety, unlock. Now you can twist it. There it has a, has a stop at about 90 degrees-ish. About the same here. So you could do the top of a hedge, you know, if you're going straight up. So that's pretty cool. That'll come in handy. Definitely put that to use on something. All right, now for the main attraction, let's get that saw together. Okay, well, obviously first you gotta take this bolt loose, this nut loose, pull the cover off. So now you see where that goes. Your bar will go into here. This here will be your adjustment for loosening and tightening the bar. See, it's got the little wheel in the front. Little grease holes here. So that will go on there like so. Now the chain, let's get the chain out here and we'll get that on. This is what it has for a chain in case you ever need to get another one. looking chain and then the bar even tells you which way it goes on see the links here the big tooth at the back so to speak get it on there everything in its slot there you go we'll get the teeth lined up in here There we go. And it looks like I'm gonna have to probably adjust. So oh, let's get her in here really well. Sorry, I hope I wasn't off screen too much there. See, she comes pretty tight, so I'm gonna have to adjust this screw. This looks like a flathead screw here. If you can see it, I know it's kind of a 
kind of a bad angle here, but uh, really here is kind of tricky. <laughs> for another test fit. Oh, we're getting really close now. Gotta go down in there a long ways. There we go. A good deal we got that on so now we'll put the cover back on and tighten it down here's what's on the back side of that cover so it's got a little kind of a scooper flip chips out and whatever right get all the little tabs in the holes looks good that nut back on there and then once you adjust your chain then you'll tighten that down and the manual talks about the right ways to do all these things I'm just kind of blowing through it um, everything's pretty well labeled in here as to what I just did even more so right so assembling things and adjusting things um, now here's that strap I was talking about it came with I wasn't sure about so yeah it has a pad to rest against you which is pretty cool you can see how that all goes on so that's pretty good how to fuel and defuel and start and this and that what I'm looking for is chain tension so it says to tension the chain to where there's very little slack on the bottom so that would probably not be right so you'd adjust that little tensioner till it pulls it out just the right amount and then you lock it down with this okay I've got it pretty well adjusted it has a little bit of slop in it I don't want it too tight but you want it to be able to move free so I'll do a little bit that way and then we'll um, tighten it up a little more as it wears in so make sure you put your bar oil in to adjust this one you just simply pull this pin out you can adjust it 90 and back to straight anywhere in between pretty sweet all right I like it Make sure you cover that chain up so you don't ding it. Okay, once it's in there, you got this one all the way tight. Don't forget to tighten this other one, which I almost did till I looked back in the manual, so. Good. One thing interesting here chain lubricant for the bar oil um, use environmentally blah 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 serves for the chain depends on the oil it says you can do an HD single grade or multi-grade engine oil with the viscosity that suits the prevailing outside temperature so obviously if it's freezing and you put like 50 weight in there it might be too much but I found it interesting you use oil but um, you know motor oil but I guess why not huh what do you guys use? I have actual bar oil, but that stuff is so thick. I'm kind of wondering if it's too thick. But let me know if you guys use motor oil. I'm curious on that one. Okay, guys, next step for me is going to be getting some gas and oil. It says here in the manual, manual 50 to 1. So I'm going to have to get some tomorrow. And uh, it's dark out now. It's getting late. And then we'll come back and we'll fire it up for the first time. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check for links down below in the description. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with this baby running. All right, I know it's a little windy, but I got some 50 to 1 mixed up. We're going to put it in there and start it up for the first time.
says to hit the primer bulb under here 10 times. Here's the primer. Start, switches on run, perfect, all right let's put an attachment on it and get to work. So there's a button on the side here. Get it keyed in and push that. There it goes. Tighten this down. Ready to go. Okay, I don't know if I'm in frame or not, but here's how it sits on there. I don't know if you guys can see the straps. This thing here going around. Hooks here, snaps here, I mean. Hooks onto your weed eater here. It's got this red handle. Pops it away. It's got this hook that hooks on there pretty easily. Then to put it back on, just slide it over here and slide this down through again. Then you can hook it back on there. So there you go. This pad is supposed to go against your leg or whatever, where it rubs on you. And there we go. We're gonna be working like that. So let's go cut something. All right. Here's what I bought it for. Let's cut some blackberries. still rolling well it cuts some blackberries it's kind of an odd spot to try to get to to cut them but it does it use this blade on that grass there just for fun and see what happens. Hopefully my phone battery won't die. I gotta say I'm pretty stoked with how quiet this thing is. It's 
Very quiet, very comfortable to use. Pretty light, I love it. I'm being really careful about going around the edge of these poles. I don't want to nick the poles, so it was just kind of a test. That's probably more of a string trimmer thing than this blade here, but pretty stoked. I'm happy with how that cuts. It cuts amazing. All right, next. So back here is the whole reason I bought this. The property behind mine is just getting way overgrown in blackberries. My goal is to whack my way through that. But actually, before I take this blade off, Here's some, here's some thick, thick grass, kind of field grass, I would call it. Let me lower this here for a second. I'll show you how it works just on some thick grass. shield there definitely is hindering my use of this this should come off with that blade but anyways that's definitely for the string trimmer so pretty happy I'm happy with how light it is how quiet it is um, the reach of the unit is nice and long so you don't have to bend over for those of you with bad backs um, yeah so far lots of pluses okay now we'll remove the attachment so Loosen this, the bolt here, push that pin in, wiggle it off, away you go. So I saved in little plugs, these little caps that came off, so when you're done, you can just cap them off. I really want to try the chainsaw out. So let's put this baby on. Pull the plug. Get it lined up here. There we go. Push the pin, lock it down. Right, I'm excited for this one. Get some bar oil in there. She's full. Put the cap on. Let's go cut something. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do a little lemon here. I don't know how much you'll see, but we'll give it a try. It runs so good. All right, sorry guys. My flipping iPhone decided to die. So you didn't get to see the cutting that I did here. But it worked great, cut some of these limbs off. I'm gonna get set up on another one here and we'll show you um, using the GoPro 9. All right, let's start here and see what happens. So, first we'll adjust.
works great. So the chain probably stretched or needs to be adjusted a little more. I don't see much bar oil on it. Um, this bar oil that I use is pretty thick, probably too thick, unfortunately. So, but it is in the lines. So I don't know, maybe it's just so little. But I'm gonna dilute it with something so it comes out easier next time. But let's grab another attachment. Boom. Okay, final thing before my battery runs out, or my SD card, pop the cap, put this baby in. down let's go over to a spot where we can use it okay besides the house over here we got a mess and these hedges let's do some cutting on there I think I'll face it kind of like this seem like a good angle maybe a little bit more something like so and I can cut that stuff off let's give it a try grab you guys here so yeah I'm pretty stoked about that very happy with that thing um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see let me know it's a badger sorry if my GoPro wigs out a little bit because I've been tweak turning it around a little bit too much it doesn't know which way to go <laughs> but that's gonna be handy that's not really the attachment I bought this thing for but it'll come in handy so let me know what you think. You got one? How long you had it? Did it last okay? Like, comment, subscribe. Follow links down below in the description if you're curious about this. And let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by.